Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and this is another exciting episode of Manor Lords. Hey, welcome back, and we're looking in on the town of Eden Plains. This is, of course, our main village, and in the prior episode, last week, we it, we put down a new village as well, Cherry Stone, as you recall. So we're looking in on Eden Plains, and there's a bunch of things I need to do in this space today. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come in, and I want to upgrade this mine down here. Now, as you recall, in an early episode, we had picked this deep mining point down here as one of our development points, but we never upgraded our mine. And so I just noticed that. So while we've got the money, we've got uh, plenty of cash and we've got plenty of planks, let's go ahead and do that. And then the next thing I wanna do is, while we still have some cash, let's grab a new oxen as well. Can always use a new ox and, uh, and we've got a number of them here in town, but you can never have too many of them it seems. You got two there, two there, two there one en route to there. Yeah, and we can always come in and build yet another hitching post in here as well. In fact, let's just go ahead while we're here. Let's do it. Yeah, just drop another one in right there. That should that should work out great. So that gets us rolling there just to start over here. Now let's jump on over to Cherry Stone and see what they need to do over there. All right, the little hamlet of Cherry Stone that we started last episode. One of the things that we should be focusing on is making sure that this saw pit gets done right away. And the reason we want to get that done right away is because I want to build a church out here, but churches require planks and I don't have any planks. And as you recall, we were just starting things off here. And in fact, we almost blew our, our last timber before setting up our logging camp. That was a near disaster. And we need some planks in this space now. So hopefully these guys will start delivering planks to, I mean, timber to the saw pit so we can get that under construction and build out some planks. Now, another thing I want to do is I want to put in a well. We didn't do that in our last episode and we do need water in this space. And I thought this little corner right here, this little corner intersection, great place for a well. That way we can access it from our houses, the businesses can access it, it should be easy to get to. The next thing I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to just put in a little access road that cuts across here from this little woodcutter's camp, just follows right along the side here. There we go, they'll have a little access, a little shorter route instead of having to work, work your way all the way down to this corner and then come up all the way around here. Now there's some things that we need to keep our eye on. We want to make sure that we're tackling this stone quarry in the not too distant future. And I think once we get our well up and running, then we should be uh, heading in the right direction there. Hopefully our approval rating will start to go up. Yeah, the most recent 30 days, no uh, negatives to our approval rating. So I think when we flip over into July, this will likely jump up to 50% and we hopefully can then start getting people moving into our burgages. We've got a lot of room in our burgages right now. In fact, let's hold down the tab key. You can see Nobody living here. This one's 98% uh, constructed. This one's 48% constructed, I think, upgrading, and another one that's upgrading as well. So we've got lots of space now for people. We just need to make sure we've got the right infrastructure in place. And then jumping down back over here, we've got, oh yeah, we're, we're getting lots of berries, which is good. And our food supply is 17 months. Our fuel supply is five months. So all these things are good news. We're moving in the right direction and Cherry Stone is doing great. Let's jump back to Eden Plains. And let's see, what did we do so far? We've upgraded our mine. We demolished, uh, no, so we bought an ox. Oh, look at this. A new family started moving in. That's great news. Cause what I want them to do is I want to take over in this storehouse and hopefully one of them will come to work here and take over this clothing stall. It'd be nice if somebody took this over because we have 27 leather that are sitting in there that aren't being used at the moment. And so if that family that's working here comes in, then hopefully they'll jump in and grab that vacant clothing stall. So there you go. So on to the next thing here. Let's see, we've still got one family that's available, 65% approval rating. This is all good news. And I think well, the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that, let's see, it's July, we've got time. I'm going to speed up the game just a little bit here, kind of keep things moving right along. Uh, we want to make sure that you know once we get into the harvest that we can start unassigning people throughout the city and then bring them over into our fields to start gathering all of the, the harvest and then threshing and doing all of those good things. All right, we finished that saw pit over in Cherry Stone, so let's jump on over there real quick. The rain is really coming down. 
and we've got our saw pit in place. We just need somebody to work it. And I was thinking I'd take my uh, my person out of my forester's hut here, my family out of there, because we've got plenty of food right now. We've got food for 20 months. So let's reassign them right now. We're going to reassign them to the saw pit. And then hopefully the next family that moves in, we can bring back out to the, um, the foraging hut. And so... Now we're going to start cranking out planks in this space. We've got our well completed, it looks like, down in here. And really, we have to kind of play a waiting game a little bit here until we can get our church built. Ooh, what do we have in here? Yeah, you know what? I've got this marketplace down in here. I bet I could expand it if I needed to. There. We've got that in place now, and that should be helpful because then we can make sure that we have uh, firewood and food and clothing that all go into there now for right now i'm keeping that woodcutter's lodge filled here uh and i haven't started transferring stuff into the storehouse because i just don't have enough people just yet so that's okay people have to go to the they'll have to go to the woodcutter's lodge to get their their firewood for now but as the village continues to grow then we'll have them open up a uh, marketplace stall all right let's go back to eden plains Oh, it looks like we've got a work area that's empty. Let's see who's who that's for. Let's uh, jump down in here real quick like and just hit this again. It is, oh, the forager hut. Yeah, we better start taking people out of there. Uh, let the berries recover. Yeah, it's going to be a while, I have a feeling. So, good. We pulled two people out of there. And let's see here. Has anybody grabbed that abandoned clothing stall yet? Not yet. So I bet if I put another person into the storehouse, they'll probably build yet another... Um, <laughs> yet another uh firewood stall but you know let's let's find out and then let's just see what else we can do right now um yeah i think we're in good shape we're in good shape anything that we need to make timber planks stone tools well let's see here how's our blacksmith doing by the way what's he building is is he building he's building sidearms okay that's good to know and then our large storehouse They've got 31 sidearms stored up, so that's great news. Uh, things are continuing to progress right along there. And they got 53 small shields. Holy mackerel. Let's just see here. Where's our joiner shop? Is he still cranking out shields? Yeah, we can we can turn him over to doing um, maybe wooden parts for now. Let's do that. And that, yeah, sure enough, they built another firewood stall. Ugh, we're crying out loud. Could somebody just please take over the abandoned clothing stall? That would be swell cobblers do cobblers use um leather well, let's find out turn that off go get the leather do your thing and our deep mine is completed that's great news so now this will never run out of uh never run out of uh, out of iron ore and uh that's really good that's good news so this will be a, a good productive area for us and uh oh so while, we, while we've got some time let's build out some roads here um i was thinking about I think I mentioned I want to take this road here and just bring that down and loop that into here. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. In fact, maybe what I'll do is I'll have it come straight out here. Because we're going to have to start prepping some space for some additional homes. And I think this little spot down here might not be a bad location here. I think I'll do some that are a little bit larger plots. You know, something a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more stately. Have this bend right straight down into this intersection down here yeah like that and then i can come in here and lay out some burgage plots come out here yeah something like that Ooh. now let's come back here like so and we'll get that set up and i've got timber so let's just go ahead and fire that up let's check in here real quick like just hit the tab key we've got nobody living there and nobody living in these four, but that's okay. That's all right. We're just kind of prepping for the future here. All right, that's good news. And a hitching post was completed down in here. That's good. We can start to upgrade that as well. Now, while we're over here, let's jump in over here and lay out some new roads over here. We've got these this space out here, and as you recall, our fertility is really good for barley. So let's go ahead and lay out those new roads in here and put it, you know, get some new fields ready for next year. I'm going to run this one right out here, just kind of have it curve up into that space there. Now we've got some uh, some new roads in there. And is there, a, is there another road down here, like a King's Road or something? Well, this is the King's Road here, I guess. And it makes its way along there. And then, oh yeah, that's right. We've got our 
We've got our other town over in here. Uh, let's see, what is this, Ferris Ridge? Yeah, we haven't even started that yet. Oh, that's cool. All right, so let's put in some farms in here. Just uh, fields, I guess. We don't have to actually start planting or anything like that, but let's just go ahead and get those marked out. And I want to look at barley fertility. Ooh, yeah, this one right here. There. Got a couple more fields that are coming into play. Yeah, I like it. We'll get those online, and then they'll be ready, hopefully, for the next growing season. Construction finished. Cobbler shop. Need planes. Okay, good. All right. Hopefully, they're going to grab that. Um, they're going to grab those um, those pieces of leather and start making shoes or something. I don't know. General cobbler shop. I guess we don't set anything. They just go ahead and oh, they grab leather and they make shoes. Okay. All right. That's good. Oop. Work area is empty. What do we got? This logging camp. All right. So let's just pause the game for a second. Where were they? harvesting logs. I think they were down along this little ridge line here. That's just fine. So let's have them clear something else out now. Um, now let's jump in and see what our fertility is looking like so that we can make sure that we tackle fields. Ooh, like way over in here would be pretty good. Flax, flax up along that ridge. Um, hmm, barley? Yeah, okay. Rye, well, rye's everywhere. But maybe this ridge over here. I know it's a long way for them to go, but let's just do it. I want to see how many leather I have in this storehouse. 28. Oh, did they... They pulled them all out of here. They're no longer sitting there. That's great news. Okay, cool. So all the leather came back into the storehouse. And now I, I, we're going to have a clothier that is a cobbler that's going to be making shoes. And presumably those will come into the large storehouse and then get sent out to a market stall. Uh, let's see. I wonder if any of these people are going to have a um, clothing market stall. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. All right, making good progress over here. Maybe we'll go check in on Cherry Stone again. Whoa, we've got 50 planks. Holy cow. They're moving right along, so let's build that church. Um, oh, let's get this hitching post out of the way. I want to relocate that over to this side of the well. And now I've got a space for that church. So let's see here. Church, church, church. That was going to be in a residential and wooden church. Will it fit right in here? Uh, oh, yeah, just like that. That's what I want. Boom. Right like that. Right in the center of town. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, that'll be great. So they'll get to work on that church. That should help with our approval. And then hopefully we'll start getting more families moving in here. And that would be a wonderful thing. We've got the church that's starting to rock and roll. And then I think we probably want to come out and start laying out our stone quarry as well. So I'm going to go ahead, bump the church. Let's bump the church up to highest priority. And then we'll come in and build a um, stone quarry out here. So let's go, whoops, here, mining, stone cutter camp. Oh yeah, right next to the stone. Okay. Oh, it's a rich stone deposit. Well, that's cool. So if I come in here, oh, about say there, and then build the road up to there, we should be in good shape. I suppose we probably should just put a uh, storehouse out here too, so they're not the, they're not hauling stuff back and forth. So let's go to logistics and storehouse, and then we'll put that right next door. Come in here. Okay, it's constructing. I will not allow a market stall to be set up. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Okay, and then okay, I think we're in good shape there. All right, let's jump back over to Eden Plains. All right, we just got another family that moved into Eden Plains here as well. So let's see here. Uh, it's August. For the time being, I'm probably just going to drop them into the hunting camp just for a little bit. But once September rolls along, then what I'll do is I'll pull them out of there and, and pull a lot of the resources out and get them all into the fields here. Yeah, okay. And we've reached September. All right. So September, this is the time of year where we can start bringing in the crops. So let's just take a quick look at each of our farms down here. Uh, this field was wheat, and this one appears, well, this appears only to be about 43% grown, which would be a yield of 12. This one is a yield of 26, and it's 100% grown. Uh, this one is 97%, and this would yield 33 flax. And then this one is wheat. Uh, this one also is only about 36% grown. How's our barley doing? This one is also 32% grown, so a very small yield. And then this one is 10, 
uh, and it's only at 34%. So I think I'm going to sit tight a little bit longer just to make sure that uh, some of these other fields fill in before I bring all of our workers into our farmhouse. And then our clay pit, uh, let's just take a look at that. Uh, we're still mining that and um, oh, it might be empty actually now that I look at it. And if I zoom out, yeah, it looks like we've exhausted that clay pit, which was kind of our, our plan all along. Our storehouse has 40 roof tiles in it and our clay furnace has one roof tile in it. So I think we can start bringing people out of that clay pit. So let's do that. Let's unassign those and then we can demolish that clay pit. So uh, there's nothing being stored. Yep. Safe to take out. Safe to take out. All right. The clay pit is gone and that's just fine. So you know, as we zoom back out, now you can see that there's no clay pit there. All right, back in Cherry Stone here, you can see that our church finished. Our church is finally completed, and that's going to really help with the approval rating in here as well. We're going to start to see this number jump up, uh, hopefully over time here, and that'll be a good thing. That'll help us with our upgrading of you know, different burgages in here. And then we also had something else that completed in here. Uh, it was our hitching post. We've got one oxen already. I think we're going to build in a second hitching post. Let's get that under construction right away. Um, let's see here. That's logistics and hitching post. Let's do that. Get that going. I think trade is going to be an important part of this town since we're not going to have much in the way of agriculture. Uh, but we do have, let's see, we've got a rich berry deposit down here. We've got rich stone. We're going to want to trade. Uh, we're going to want to get this iron going as well. And then, oh yeah, clay and wild animals are way, way over here. So it's a, it's a long ways away. And uh, I think so the trading post is going to be one of our next orders of business. Uh, I'm going to get the construction going for that. Make sure I've got enough. Yeah. Or timber, I've got 38, so I think we'll be fine there. I'll put it right here, kind of at this intersection here. And then I'll build a road that comes off of this point, just follows down along the side of that trading post building there, and then connects into there. Yeah. Maybe connect this one up as well, too. So we'll just uh, kind of keep framing things out. Construction finished storehouse in Cherrystone, and I'm going to guess that that's out here. It is. All right, so the first thing I want to do there is I want to come in here and make sure that I set up so that it doesn't accept anything except for stone. We're going to accept stone and that's all. Yeah, we should be good to go there. All right, very good. Let's jump back over to Eden Plains. All right, so now let's start adding families one, two, three, four to this farmhouse. Get them rolling. Actually, I could probably even bring in five just to be safe. Now, what do we have here for stores? Food of six months, fuel of six months. Yeah, I, I think I think we're in good shape there. I think I have three people in the charcoal kiln, so they're going to keep cranking out charcoal. That, that's going to be a good thing for us. And I know we've got plenty of wood supplies in the area. Okay, let's jump back over to Cherry Stone now because I think we had a few things completed over there. Okay, so now that we're back over here, you can see our approval rating is at 49%, and we got a plus two there for our church level. Uh, unfortunately, we won't see an uptick in, in residents yet because we're still below that magical 50% line. So hopefully in the next month or so, we can do that. I think I'm going to want to disengage somebody from that timber camp and try and get these berries harvested down a little bit more quick before winter sets in. I think we can go ahead and do that. So we've still got one family that's out here working on setting up our trading post and uh, we're in good shape. Let's jump back over to Eden Plains. All right, you can see the wheat starting to come in here. This is great. They're gonna bring in all that wheat and then I'm not sure where the flax is going then. They have to be transporting it somewhere. All right, so all the wheat has been knocked down. Hopefully they're not tearing out the, and they are. <laughs> and they're, they're tearing out the barley as well. So this is good to know. This is good to know. Um, hopefully we won't get anybody planting anything. If we do, we'll just kind of shut that down. Uh, but I want to come in here now and I want to set up my uh, field rotation for the new fields that we just put in as well. So we're going to do crop ro rotation here and I'm going to do, uh, let's see, I got to remember now, what was the, uh, what was the prominent fertility there? Oh, it's definitely emmer. So emmer in these two. So we'll set up a rotation there. And then um, down here, of course, we've got all these barley fields, so we can tackle those as well. So let's set up a rotation of emmer, emmer, uh, and, and this flax grow in here? Yeah, sort of, but not great. So I want to do, I want to do emmer, lots of emmer. Now we should get plenty of barley growing next year. Let's go back over and check on cherry stone. I've got this alert that popped up here. It says, disconnected from the major trade routes. Connect the building to the King's Road, otherwise it won't attract any traveling merchants. So if I zoom in on that, that's our trading post. 
Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a King's Road. This is the big main road that makes its way all the way through this area here. So I do appear to be connected to it unless I'm missing something. Uh, let's just take a look and see both directions here. Here's this trading post. It's connected right straight to the King's Road here. And that King's Road runs off of the map. So not sure why we're getting that error. Let me just come in here and, and make sure I've got roads. Does that do it? Oh, apparently that did it. Uh, apparently I wasn't connected exactly. What do we have here? We have 78, so we got 120 of 250. I think what I'd like to do is upgrade this one to a, um, a large storehouse. Let's do that. That'll give us some expanded room. And so as stone starts to overflow here, then we can bring that down into here. Now, the other thing I should probably do is bring in somebody here into this trading post, but let's just see where we are in the in the progression curve here. We need two Burgage plots at level two or higher in order to step up. Can we do that? The requirement's not met, so we still need a food stall supply and we need a clothing stall supply. Um, okay, all right, all right, good to know. So I think the easiest way to do that is to get out here and start figuring out how to get our hands on these wild animals way out here. So uh, let's build out a, let's see, a hunting camp, maybe right there. Then I can build a quarry down here, a mining pit. What was this again? This is clay. Okay, I can get a clay mining pit right on top of this. I'm gonna spin this around just so it's, um, yeah, like that, that's good. We'll put that right in there. And I think what I'll do is just kind of come down here at an angle and kind of work our way down into this little clearing here. And then bring this road straight out here as well. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll replicate what I had done uh, over in Eden Plains and I'll just grab a little storehouse here. Small one, put that right here. I'll turn off everything in there except for, oh, I can't do anything just yet, but I will turn off the market stall. And then also I will construct a clay furnace for those clay tiles so let's just do that and uh, then we'll be in good shape there so after that gets built out and then we can start getting our wild animals coming through here i can build in a tannery well i should probably just go ahead and do that right now too put that right along this little road here there we go and now we're yeah we're still sitting good on supplies and now we've got a lot of stuff queued up out here in cherry stone all right well let's go back and check in on eden plains uh, another thing I think I'll do is is I'm going to grab a um, I'm going to put a, a permanent livestock in there as well, just because I think that will be useful. In fact, how are we sitting on livestock? Uh, I think we've got quite a few of these down here, right? Small stables. O of two. Let's buy one. All right, good. Uh, two of two. One of two. Two of two. I suppose I probably there's probably a tab key or something that I could do. Yeah, there sure is. Okay, good. All right, so we'll have another ox coming to join us here. The barley goes to the malt house, and then the malt... <laughs> Another family's moving in here in October. So now we got somebody working the malt house, uh, and they'll produce malt, and then the brewer can then start brewing that into beer. So that's great news. All right. Okay, we got a bandit camp that was sighted. Let's go check it out. And where is it? It is... Uh, oh, it's in Swayau, and it's really close by. This is great news. All right, let's rally up the troops and, and go take this one. This is plenty of firepower bringing this one and uh, one of our retinues and have them rally to this point right here. And then now let's bring them down the hill. Let's go. Moving out, people. Because we still got crops to plant. Let's do this. Here they come, down the hill, making their way down to the King's Road here. Okay, we're not going to make the same mistake we did last time. I want to have my spear militia leading the way out here. And the bandits, they look like they appear to be rallying now. So I'm going to bring that spear militia in right up along here. And then I'm going to bring in the retinue right in behind them. Give them some cover. If I can, let's get up here on some higher ground. So let's get these guys up here. And then these are right back in here. In fact, I want these guys to run to their positions. And then I'll stop and then I'll stand your ground. Prepare for the charge. Bring you guys in behind them. Here they come. Let's bring our retinue along to the side over here. And then our spearmen, we want them to push forward. Our retinue, you can come into this 
angle over here and start working your way around. Oh, there we go. And they're broken. All right, so let's send our retinue over to capture that camp. And then we're going to bring everybody else back home. There we go. Quick and easy, right? All right, we got a new message here, which of course is going to be us capturing the bandit camp. This is great news. I'm going to send the resources to the nearest town because we could use the additional regional wealth. And so with that, we've got to grab our retinue and bring them back home as well. So I'm going to bring them back to the manor and off they go. And then of course, we've got our, our spear militia that are still making their way back as well. All right, great. We're going to speed up the game and let that play out. We want to bring them back as quickly as possible. All right, let's check in on them. Yes, they're back and they can now be disbanded. That's great. And then our retinue also can be disbanded. There we go. So now everybody's going to get back to work and we're going to be growing out here in Eden Plains. Let's go take a look over at Cherry Stone here just to see how things are evolving over there with all of the new stuff that we we're building out. OK, we've got a hunting camp in place. This is great news. I'm going to turn off the market stall uh, and I'm going to bring somebody into that because we're going to want to hunt that. And then we're going to keep that down to a limit of 10. Our mining pit is still under construction. Our clay furnace is still under construction. And of course, our storehouse is also under construction here. But we've got a positive approval rating now, which is really good because we're going to start to see our town grow. And you can see ooh, large storehouse was just completed. Where was that one completed? That's back here in town. Oh, that's right. We expanded this storehouse. That's great news. All right. So we've got that in place. We've got a marketplace. We've got a firewood stall. We've got a food stall. And I'm going to go ahead and assign a family to that one as well. Um, just so that we can continue to move goods around really quickly. No, you know what? That's a mistake. Let's not do that just yet. Because I think what we'll want to do is we're going to want to get everything con you know, constructed way over here in the hinterlands. Uh, I got to find it. And then once we do that and start, you know, farming this area, if you will, I call it farming, but, you know, gathering those resources and producing uh, hides and so forth and roof tiles, then we're going to want to start shuttling back and forth. So good. We're continuing to move forward here in Cherry Stone. I've got a regional wealth of 50. Did we, did we ever get that second hitching post in place? We did. And I want to get a second ox going. Let's do that. So now I'm down to 30 regional wealth. Uh, that's good to know. And then uh, Burgage Plots, we still can't upgrade anything to level 2 yet because we still don't have clothing supply. But we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, back to Eden Plates. So we've got everything planted now uh, with the exception of... Oh, Cherry Stone, Clay Furnace. That's great. Uh, except for this one barley field down here. Oh, it's now, it's now completely planted. And that's great news. So now I can go back to my farmhouse and take a look and see they're threshing the wheat. You can see they're going 26, 23, 22. It's all being converted into grain. And as soon as that grain is all converted, uh, all of that wheat is converted into grain, then I'm going to go ahead and release all of these farm workers back into our community so that they can start working on other tasks. And uh, then they'll, they'll be done for the season and we won't need to re-engage them until I think next September. One more. There it is. Okay, cool. So now I can just start releasing those farm workers back into town and we can put them on other jobs. But you can see that that grain is now starting to deplete, which means it's probably coming into the windmill and it's being converted into flour and then ultimately into our communal oven, which is then being converted into uh, to bread. Let's take a look here at some of these burgage plots. Now we're getting close. Tavern supplies. Ooh, you know what? I don't think I have anybody working the tavern. There you go. Now we're going to get our tavern up and running because there's beer that's being brewed. you got 15 of them sitting in the granary here. And then this is going to put us in a position where we can start upgrading some of these burgage plots to level three. Let's find another one of these smaller ones here that maybe we can drop in a chicken coop like this one here. Let's do a chicken coop. Let's come into another smaller one here like this one. And I want to get a goat shed. Yeah, there we go. Let's jump back over to Cherry Stone and see how those construction efforts are going on over there. And you can see our hunting camp. Yeah, look at that. We've got meat. We've got hides. Uh, our storehouse has not been completed yet. Our clay furnace uh, is completed. Uh, and our mining pit has not been completed just yet. So we're just going to kind of continue to chip away here. I want to make sure that I set this one at... Yeah, let's keep it at 10. I just want to slowly go after these wild animals. I don't want to deplete them, you know, too dramatically. And then... 
Let's just see what else is going on in town over here. What I was thinking about doing is, is getting some sheep in here. And before I do that, I want to just check my, my fertility. And I just want to make sure that I'm not placing something onto what would be fertile ground. So I'm not going to grow rye over here. And emmer might be okay, but I'm probably going to reserve that for over here. I think I want to come down from here and bring this on this road up here, just up this hill and have that connect in there. And then let's just do some pastures in here. Nice pasture right along this this main road here. And then that'll that'll grow in. So let's just go ahead and draw this out here. Ooh, yeah, let's come out here and connect that. And then just kind of thread this along here, just following this ridge line. There we go. And now I can build in that sheep farm right in here. Yeah, so that'll be another thing for them to work on over in this space here. Back over to Eden Plains. All right, one more family I want to upgrade down in here. Burgish plot level two. Oh, you can be upgraded to level three. Let's do it. And the cobbler shop. Let's do it. And I saw a storehouse available in Cherry House, Cherry Stone. Let's go check that out. All right. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to turn off everything. And I want to only activate a few things. Let's get hides. Let's get leather. Let's get, what is this, clay uh, and roof tiles. Is this still not done yet? Hmm, okay. Well... We're going to have to hold off on that. This is the tannery that's under construction. He's working the hunting camp. He's got 22 meat and 10 hides. Ooh, that's great. Very good. Let's jump back over to Eden Plains. Upgrade to level three. Doing it. All right, there you go. And I think once that's completed, we will be able to upgrade our village. Oh, this is great news. I think I want to do some smaller ones down in here, just along this, this road here. I'm going to mirror that road, bring that down along this little dry creek bed here. Something like that. Yeah. So maybe these will all be small burgage plots. So let's just come in and frame those up real quick, like. I think I want to flip these around so that the homes are on the higher part of it. And you've got three little expansion deals like this, which is just right, because then we can put in like chicken coops or cottage industries, if you will, in that space. Weaver's Workshop uses wool to produce yarn and flax to produce linen. There we go. We need to do that. Oh my word. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. So let's bring in this weaver's shop kind of down here by this, this large storehouse. Maybe right there? Yeah, and then I'm going to bring this road up and around here. Eh, we got to get connectivity coming from here down around and then maybe into there like that. Okay, so now we'll have a weaver and uh, then as soon as that's ready to rock and roll, I'm going to turn that off. Then we're going to upgrade things to a tailor. So we'll have to upgrade, take one of these level twos. This is a smaller one here. Let's just do that. And we're going to make that one our tailor's workshop. Okay. And that one, we're going to turn that off as well. Let's check in on the final of our three buildings that we're upgrading to level three. Three burgages that we're up upgrading to level three. Let's see how this comes along. Let's go, people. We got work to do. It's almost winter. There it is. Okay, so we finally leveled up here. That was our third burgage that we leveled up to level three. And now you can see we've got uh, 33 level ones, 10 level twos, and now three level threes. And we just leveled up Eden Plains. That's a great development here. Let's zoom on out and take a look at the town. Things are just are really coming along nicely. Now, Eden Plains, you know, let's just go into our development tree here and let's just see what we wanted to upgrade like next. I think it was going to be, let's see, Trade Logistics was the one I want to do next because I really want to um, start capitalizing on trade routes in this area. So let's go ahead and select Trade Logistics and then we'll close that one out. And now we can come into our trade center here, our, our trading post, and yeah, it's time for us to start exporting some goods, I think. Let's open up the, the Spears trade route first. And then I want to set this. I want to keep a balance of 20. We're not actively producing those right now, but we can sell those for a pretty penny. And then let's go to, I think it was Small Shields. Let's, let's open this one up as well. Uh, establish that trade route. And I think we can sell that down to export down to a level of, uh, let's do 36. There you go. There you go. All right. And then before we go, let's check in with our blacksmith. What's he producing? And that is 
Oh yes, uh, sidearms, sidearms. And let's get a Fletcher's Workshop going as well. Okay, there you go. All right, wow. We hit our next level. We are now a small town. We've got a ways to go uh, until we move up to the next level. But, um, you know, I think tremendous progress again this episode. So this feels like a really good spot for us to uh, to wrap things up for today. Now, just to kind of in recap, we did our first major harvest here in Eden Plains. And that was, I call it a major harvest, but it was the first time that we didn't completely fumble it. And now we're in the process of turning that wheat into grain and then on into flour and baking bread. And you can see our food supplies are now up to six months. So that's a market improvement of where we were just a couple months ago when we're, our food supplies were sitting at about three months. So uh, lots of improvement there. Happy to see that. And then, of course, over in Cherry Stone, we set up really kind of the core of our town. And then we made that that extension, if you will, out to the clay pit and the wild animals out there and are starting the expansion in that space there. Oh, yeah, we even added a sheep farm, which was kind of cool, too. All right. Just as a reminder, we are a growing channel. So if you saw something that you like today, make sure to leave us a comment below. Love to hear from you or maybe even just an emoji for the sake of engagement. It really does help the algorithm distribute our content to a wider audience. And also while you're at it, make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the happenings here at Manor Lords. Yeah. And the beautiful city of Eden Plains. We're coming along. We're coming along. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to bid you guys a fond farewell. And until next time. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.